Pierce, congratulations with the announcement of what's going on with TIFF so far for 2017. But everybody's been asking, why has TIFF, one of the biggest uh, festivals in the world, sort of giving it a little weight loss here? <laughs> Only for purposes of quality. I mean, you can't see 250, 300 feature films. And we just thought we had gotten a little bit too big, to be honest. So we just wanted to scale it down a little bit. I don't think anyone's going to really notice. Um, it's a small shrinkage. So I think the quality of the films is what it was all about. We just wanted to make sure that the curation here was really, really tight. You know, um, how difficult can it be, though, for you guys in having to not just shrink this, but so many great films out there, whether it be international, whether it be U.S., and especially whether in Canada, how do you guys go through all of them? We're seeing about six, 7,000 films. To winnow that list down to about 250 feature films, it's pretty difficult, to say the least. Uh, some very tough decisions every single year. We're used to going through that, but I think this year we'll be disappointing a few more people. I know there's a lot of other film festivals in the world. Of course, we're not the only one, so if you're not taken by the Toronto Film Festival, there's other opportunities elsewhere. So it's our selection, it's what we think is important, what we think is representative, what we want to put on screen for Toronto audiences. But the other thing, too, is we have been lucky that the films that come in end up, many of them end up being Oscar nominated, Oscar winners. Uh, it, you know, it is the place to go to to see what's going to happen when the award shows come up. It is. I mean, we're such a big festival. We're perfectly positioned at the beginning of the, uh, the award season in September. So we will continue to get all those films. We'll continue to be, I think, the bellwether for the Oscars, for the Golden Globes, and for many of the other awards around the, uh, the, the globe, not just the American English language ones, too, the BAFTAs, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we take that, that responsibility very seriously. Of course, we're not just running English language work. We're running international film. We want to be very representative, but you always get to see, I think, the key films for the uh, fall season for awards here. And let's talk very quickly about some of those films. One of them you've mentioned earlier was filmed here in Toronto, sort of like a Beauty and the Beast, but in the water. <laughs> it is, The Shape of Water. Guillermo del Toro, Mexican filmmaker who's relocated, lives here in Toronto, a wonderful guy. This is one of Guillermo's best films, incredibly emotional, so well told. Um, it uses Toronto locations, but it's just in a very emotional story that everyone will be touched by. And another film that I'm really excited about seeing, something I remember watching as a kid on television, had to do with tennis. It does indeed. Boy, I was there. I remember Bobby Riggs and uh, Billie Jean King, The Battle of the Sexes. This is so well made and well told. Steve Carell and Emma Stone, fresh from her Oscar. Steve Carell, of course, is just such a great actor. Uh, it's a comedy, uh, it's a drama, but Steve is in fine form, and Emma holds her own, actually, against Bobby Riggs. And, of course, we know how the, it ends, <laughs> and I won't spoil it for those people who don't. You know, there's going to be galas, there's going to be uh, presentations, there's going to be so much going on. And very quickly, too, who are some of the actors and actresses who are going to be here? Well, a couple of major actors have stepped behind the camera, so for sure they're going to be here. Angelina Jolie with a remarkable film about the Cambodian um, genocide. And Mr. George Clooney, who's uh, directed a film based on a Coen Brothers screenplay with Matt Damon. So those two actor-directors will definitely be here. And then you've got people like Alexander Payne, um, who's directed a, a wonderful film with Matt Damon. And you've got Darren Aronofsky with Jennifer Lawrence and uh, a fantastic cast, Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, you've got a, a whole range, I mean, Claire Foy, Kate Winslet, Idris, Idris Elba. I mean, it kind of, the list goes on and on. Um, Lady Judi Dench is going to be here. So many of these names that we're announcing, you can expect they and their directors to be here. One last question, which I think is most important. Uh, people should realize this year we're celebrating one of the founders who has recently passed away. So William Marshall, Mr. Bill Marshall, founded the festival 42 years ago. He was a wonderful guy. I knew him really, really well. And it was his vision, his idea. He had the, the, you know, the, the wherewithal to sign to go out and do it. And they put all their money into it. They financed it. And then they passed it on to a lot of people. But we wouldn't be here without Bill. Bill passed away on New Year's Day. Uh, it was very sad for all of us but a tremendous funeral, which was a true celebration of Bill's life. We'll be doing some, making some announcements about what we'll be doing for Bill during the festival, but we really will miss Mr. Marshall. And to celebrate his life, fans should come out, pick up tickets, and it uh, happens when? When does it all the fun start? The 7th to the 17th this year. It's 11 days. Um, just come and see a film, even if you're not a big, big uh, movie buff, movie fan. And, of course, if you're a movie buff, I know lots of people will be out there seeing 20, 30, 60, 70 films. Some of the real crazy people see that many. I mean, it's so tr amazing the way it takes over the city, and there's such great support from the people. Cannot wait, my friend. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you very much, too. Look forward to it.